I'm Austin Knight, and I'm really important and floating. This is music that got ruined for me. Oh, here's the thing. I still listen to it sometimes um, because I'm dumb. But uh, the Catfish and the Bottleman album, The Balcony, I fucking love that album. It's like one of my favorite albums, I think. Cause, like Typically, I'll love an album. I'm like, this is fucking great, and I still love it and everything. But that one, I constantly go back to, and it's just so good. But yeah, some of the songs on there, when, they, when it gets to that one, I'm just like, oh, fuck you. So that... Um, I don't want to talk about it. This make me think of people, okay? It's really, really messed up because I really love the album, but for some reason it puts me in a weird place. Um, it was Blurry Face. I, it was like right when we started like getting notoriety and stuff. And I was, I don't even know what it was, something... I was actually going through a breakup is what it was, but uh, anytime I listen to that album, it's such a great album, but I just, it makes me feel things that I don't want to feel it anymore. Blurry face, yeah. I think that one was kind of ruined for me. I'll, every once in a while I'll go back, but I'm like, uh, I feel weird. I love overplaying everything. One time Otto and I were driving back uh, from his like parents' place. They live like in the middle of nowhere. I'm not gonna tell y'all where. Um, and one of the times we listened to Feeling This, Blink-182, the entire way back, just on loop. Another time we listened to Get Well Soon by Reggie and the Full Effect, on loop the entire way. It was Get Well Soon, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's the thing, is like, I anything that I like, I overdo it so hard, and that includes songs. Yellow Card, Ocean Avenue just reminds me of Heartbreak again, like lots of Heartbreak. That's pretty much all that, that one is. Um, I, yeah, Girls. They did me wrong. I mean, I don't really listen to like our like older, older shit. Sometimes I go back to the albums, but it's kind of rare. I, uh, fuck you like the water park song. Um, but, uh, usually by the time something's come out, I've heard it so fucking much from like the demo. F well, first from like the, it's just in my head phase. Then to like the, the voice memo phase then the demo phase, then we sit on it forever, we finally get to record it, go through like a million mixed notes, and then finally I'm just like, I don't wanna hear this anymore, but it's fucking tight. That's kinda like what all our songs are. I know I ruined Michelle Branch for Austin. Fuck you, Michelle Branch. Um... <laughs> Let's see. Awaken My Love by Childish Gambino. Not like it's it's not that like it makes it makes me think of a time I really didn't fucking like. Um because certain people were stressing me the fuck out and uh, now when I listen to it, I feel those feelings again and I'm just like ah. That sucks. That's totally unfair because think about this. We could make an album and it could be so fucking tight. And then one person can listen to it and be like, this is my favorite thing. And then associate it with someone who's completely unrelated to us. And then it gets mixed together. And then like when they move on from that time, they're gonna be like, nah, I hate that water parks album. And I'm gonna be like, yo, I worked really hard on that. But that's what I'm doing to people too. So it's like, whatever. <laughs> uh, people have told me that uh, our albums make them think of like their exes and shit. And I'm like, that sucks. Fuck your stupid ex. That's a great album. You know? <laughs> I don't have any. It's all good. Do you see what I'm doing with my eyes? That's it, your opinion. Get on my fucking zen level, you nerds. Hmm. All this shit's like fine for me.